in cabinet we decided that once you're going for less than 24 hours you don't have to test in, in, in coming back in and and so um but we are looking at seriously having people who are fully vaccinated only people who are fully vaccinated and go in and out no there, there there is going always going to be some risk dealing with covid or any other virus that we will be confronted in, in the future and, and so um we're trying our best to ha have the borders open for Belizeans as well. Um, as you know, uh, in the middle of this year, we opened for tourism flow. Uh, and so we think now it's high time for us to open it up to Belizeans, just like we did for the airport. From a tourism standpoint first, the borders have been open to t for tourist traffic since July, uh, June or July. Uh, and so, um, but there are some measures that were in place that made it onerous for them to come um, back and forth. We believe that just by the nature of um, the industry, in terms of the time, this is a peak season, we believe that we are going to see a lot more flows inbound and outbound. That's where border management makes most of the money for, for those people going outbound. Um, uh, and in terms of locals, uh, we just can't keep locked down um, forever. Uh, as long as we put in the, the protocols, the processes in place to have a safe and back and forth across the border, we believe so. We did so with the free zone and that has been successful and so we believe that we can replicate that.